Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be the part two of a short series of videos I'll be doing on trading. Uh, I'll be focusing mostly, mostly on Ethereum and Bitcoin prices. Today I'm going to be talking about moving averages. It's a very fundamental tool in trading, uh, especially in technical analysis. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to clarify is that what is a moving average? How do you get this number? So effectively, you take the last X days, so let's just say 10 days, then you take the average price, closing price of the last 10 days, and you take an average. And that is effectively this, this line here. So the general th rule of thumb is that if the price is above the 10 day moving average, then it is bullish. And if it's below it, then it's bearish. Now, moving average obviously is a lagging indicator. It measures the last 10 days. It doesn't measure what's gonna happen tomorrow. So it's a, it's a trend indicator that shows you what the general trends are. Now you can see that I have a couple, I have two moving average here, and then I have another one uh, in the longer term. Let me just zoom out for you for you real fast. And I'll show you what they are. They are seven days, 30 days, and 365. So uh, the reason why I pick these numbers, and it's up to you, it's subjective to, in many cases, is that I like to pick a calendar cycle, one week, one month, one year. Uh, if this was a stock, then it would be five days, 20 days, 200 days. So. Uh, this is what I use. It works for me in terms of trying to gauge the inter. I'm not using it generally. Some people use it to generate a signal. I personally use it to measure the general trend of the uh, of the of the underlying security. So let's use. Let's take a look at what what's going on with Bitcoin prices today uh, using this analysis, for example. Right. So as you can see, that we're in a big giant choppiness, uh, messy. Uh, uh, consolidation I would say and you can see that the top end of the range is slowly converging and the bottom end of the price is slowly converging some people call it a triangle um, a big giant triangle like this a flag you if you will a pennant and uh, I, I think it's a little too wide the volatility is too much you know usually a pennant or something like that is generally a small consolidation pattern like you can say this is a pennant you know like it's, it's very small volatility is very low but this is just like incredible amount of volatility this is almost a 50 percent drop right here right that's a little too much um so uh, aside from that you can see that in terms of moving average the short-term trend the intermediate term and the long term is 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 above uh, the price today's price is above all three so that is bullish. In fact, I went long earlier today, uh, around yesterday at the close, roughly around, I don't know, uh, 28, 30. That's actually right now, the same price right now. So I'll go over it in a little bit. Um, and also, uh, you want to know that these moving average, not only is it above these moving average, the moving average is also pointing up. You can see that the, the trend is pointing up. So that means that it's slowly increasing. That's also very important. Now, in the next video, I want to go over uh, something called a golden cross or a death cross but in this video I just want you to get the hang of things so uh, let's talk about Ethereum price here uh, we have a massive move to the upside uh, for over a couple weeks and now that we're pulling back you can see that in terms of the short-term trend here this is seven day right here it kind of bounced but now it's below the seven day again it looks like it might be test the bottom here and who knows where it will go I, I don't know like maybe right here this is the previous like start of a next uptrend the next leg so i maybe over here is a reasonable target here at 0 0.5 or so uh in terms of the 30-day moving average we're still right here so uh, maybe i don't I'm not, maybe you could get choppy over here just like over here it could retest these moving averages and come back down so uh, a lot of people actually use moving average as a kind of a stop loss or exit strategy, right? If you're buying, a, a, if say if you're shorting somewhere over here, and uh, the moment it crosses the moving average, meaning that it, it, it closes above the moving average, you kind of get out because you that that's an indicator that says that hey, the trend is no longer going down. Time to take some profit, you know. As a trend following strategy, I think a lot of people use that. It's pretty effective. You can see clearly that if you just set your stop at uh, moving average, uh, you'll make a good profit. Now, that this is nitpicking, right? Obviously, this is a very strong general downside trend. Sometimes you get you, you kind of you can, generally speaking. I mean, since Ethereum is so volatile, which is excellent for a trader, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, you just kind of hold on to it. You kind of get out right here. This is 
if a spike either you you get out at a close or you get out at any price lower than the moving average so you will get out here and you'll make a pretty decent profit for the most part if you just held on to these things now over here it gets a little ugly so um, it depends it depends it sometimes work it sometimes doesn't but for the most part it, j it shows you that the general trend is up up the general trend is up right up all the way till maybe this point you start falling so at these prices then you start realizing oh, okay well I think the party might be over so that is about it subscribe to my channel uh, I will be ma making a lot of these short videos and this is going to be an exciting time to talk about cryptocurrency prices along with a lot of technical indicators I want to go over so thank you for your time uh, I'll see you guys next time